What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to just do a fast video about just bit shifting. So about shifting left and shifting right. So let's say I have a number of five base 10 and I convert it to binary. So the bits are one, zero, one, right? You could actually append a lot of zeros in front of it, right? You could append multiple, but let's just keep it like this, okay? So this is five in binary. Now what happens if I shift five to the left? So the thing is that if you shift to the left, what happens with the bit? Well, all the bits get moved down by one. So here we have five, if I shift five left, so I'm gonna shift this left by one, right? So I'm gonna take this five right here, right here, five. I'm gonna shift this down by one, okay? So when I shift it down by one, what, what do I get? So here, this, this bit originally, right? This one originally was on the right side, far right. Now it's gonna move down by one. So it's gonna now go here, right? And this zero is gonna be here, and this one's gonna be here. So now we're gonna have, so we're gonna have one, right, one. Then we're gonna have zero and one, right? One, zero, one, right? So all we all, everything here got shifted to the left, to the left by one, okay? And because when it gets shifted to the left by one, right, we append a zero at the end. Okay, so all the previous bits here of one, zero, one, zero got shifted left by one, and then we just added a zero to the end, right? So like this this one became the here, the zero became here, the zero became here, and then, we can't, and then this is what happens. In base two, this is what you get, okay, when you shift it down by one. So now what happens, is what, uh, what is the answer for this now? Well, let's convert this back into the number form. So in this case, we have zero, one, zero, one, Right, so, uh, so let's convert this back into base 10. So here we have uh, two to the zero, two to the one, two to the two, two to the three. So here's so two to the three, right? So we have two to third, two to the second, two to the first, two to the zero, right? And then we, we just put ones in front of these, right? This is how you convert, and then this is a zero, okay? And then you just add them up. This is how you convert uh, binary back into the thing. So now here we have four times two, uh, two to the third is eight, right? Four times two is eight. Uh, this is zero. Oh no, two to the first is two. And then two to the zero, zero is one, zero, so it's zero. So right, so then we have eight plus two, then this equals two ten. So what happens when you shift left by one, you end up multiplying the previous answer, the previous answer that we had by two, right? So every time you shift something left by one, you multiply the previous answer by two, okay? So like if I shifted this five left by one, one bit, um, this is going to equal to 10 in base 10, okay? So that's what this does, okay? So yeah, um, now let's see what happens. If, uh, now, how do you shift something down by, let's say I want to shift something down by two bits instead. So now let's see five is a base 10, right? Now I'm gonna shift it down by two bits, two bits. Okay, so before we shifted down by one bit, now we're gonna shift it down by two bits. So now here we have, originally was five was this, right? This was five, right? It's five in base two is this, right? So to shift it down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, originally we're gonna move the bit down by one and then move it down by one again. So now we're gonna have, um, so we have one, zero, one, right? So we moved it down one. So normally you would add a zero if you moved down one but now we're gonna add two zeros because we moved down twice, okay? Because that's what happened, right? We add two zeros because we moved it down by twice. We move this down one and then move it down one here. This moved down by one and then down one. This down one by down one. This down one, down down one, okay? So that's what we get. And um, yeah, you just appended two zeros at the end. So now if you convert this back into decimal form, what do you get? So do we now, let's just label all the powers of twos. Two is zero, two is one, two is two, two is three, two is four. So two four, so two to the four plus, uh, let's see, two to the fourth, right? Two to the third, two to the second, plus one times two to the second, okay? And this gets you two to the fourth power is 16, right? Two to the fourth power is 16, and then two to the second is four, so we plus four, and then we get 20, okay? So this 20 represents in base 10, okay? So what, what happens when you shift it down by two? Right. So what we what happened was is that we multiplied five times two to the second power. That's what that's what happened. Okay. So we did um, five. So this is actually equal to. So this is equal to five times 
2 to the second power. Okay, so anytime you shift, shift something down by n, you multiply it to the certain power, to its power, right? So if this is equal to 5 times 2, 5 times 4, which is gets you 20. So that's what this is. That's the same answer that we got here. Okay, so anything, if you shift something down by n, so let's say I've shift 5 base 10 down by n, right? This is actually equivalent to 5 times 2 to the n. Okay, that's what it means, right? That's what this is doing. Okay, so okie dokie, that is basically shifting left, right? Sh shifting left. Now, what happens when I shift right? So shifting right is basically the same thing. Okay, so let's say I have 5 to the uh, 5 base 10, right? So this is equivalent to 1, 0, 1, 2, right? And instead, I'm going to shift this to the right. Right, we're going to shift it right by 1. So what happens if you shift everything to the right? Okay, so basically when you shift any, everything to the right, um, all the values of all the bits here gets moved down by one. So this zero moves down by one, this moves down, and this moves down. So what we're gonna get here is we're gonna get equivalent of, when you shift this down by one, this goes away, but uh, this zero becomes zero, and then we have one, and then we have zero. So this is gonna become zero, one, zero, and this last bit goes away. So this is gonna be here. And then this is now, uh, we add a, append a zero to in front of it, just in case we have four bits, right? Because you could append a, um, as many zeros in front of your bits. That's what you could do. Okay, so then if you convert this in back into the decimal form, we have uh, two to zero, two to the one. So now we have uh, one times two to the one plus two to the zero, a uh, zero times two to the zero, which is just zero. So you, this gives you two. Okay, so whenever you shift down something right by one, or shift it right, this uh, five, you're actually dividing it by two, right? So if I take this and shift it down by uh, n, right? Let's say I shift it down to the right by n. What you're doing is you're basically doing five divided by two to the n. That's what you're doing. So here, what we did was we did five divided by two to the first, right? And this actually got us to two because when five divided by two to the first would give you, uh, it basically gives you two and then it cuts off the last decimal values. So it rounds it down. So that's what it does. That's what, uh, that's what programming does. So that gives you actually two, right? So it cuts it down. So that's basically the equivalent of bit shifting to the left and shifting to the right. This is a pretty fast video. You just, uh, so when you shift right, you're actually dividing by two to the N you shift left you actually just multiply by 2 to the end, okay? So yeah, that's basically how you do this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.